Hi, my name is Miguel Angel and I'm a robotics researcher in the Construct. Welcome to this webinar on how to create your own BB-8 in the Construct. This webinar will be divided into three parts. The first part will we'll talk about setting up basics in the Construct and building a very basic BB-8 model. The second part will talk about how to put plugins inside it and control it. And the third part is making BB-8 look like a real BB-8, which means mesh integration. In this first part, I'll show you how to build the basic framework that you'll need and a simple non-actuated BB-8. In essence, you'll learn all the kinematics, magics that you need to understand this BB-8. So, ready? Let's go then. So the first thing you have to do is obviously log in into the construct. To do this, you'll have to go to the construct dot com I link you'll you'll get the links in the description below you can si sign up if you don't have an account yet it's totally free and if you do sign in this will take you to the login or sign in page you sign in and you're inside so here you can see all the simulators that you can choose. In our case, we'll get the simple but very fun Gazebo 4.0 with Ross Indigo and Ubuntu 14. Run the simulator. And we'll have to wait until the simulator is fully loaded. Fantastic! So once we have this the simulator fully loaded, the first thing you have to do is open our development environment here. But first, allow me to load the project with all the files that you'll need to make this work. Perfect. So here you can see a tiny sphere. We'll get to this, that in a moment. So let's open our development environment and see what we have there. I have to research for this. Yeah. That's fine. Perfect. So Every time you launch a simulation in the construct with Gazebo and with Gazebo Simulator, you'll get this three default and simple packages. They, they are ROS packages. We'll concentrate in this one description and Gazebo. So let's go. You'll get exactly the same except for this directory robots directory inside it you'll have to create these two files how do you create a file or a directory in our development environment just right click on the parent directory that you want and select new file or new folder 
and that's it. For example, new folder, name, test, and create. That's it. Simple. To remove it, just delete it. And done. We'll talk about this files for the moment. Just create the, the files empty. How? Click, right click and new file. That's it. The next thing you have to do is edit the package XML file. You have to add these dependencies with URDF and Chakra for both build and run. Done? Perfect. So now the gazebo package. By default you'll get a launch directory and a config models and worlds and so on. We'll concentrate in this directory directory here. In the launch directory, you have to create this folder, include, and you'll also have to create this main empty launch. And inside this include, put the BB8 launch. Um, how do this launch files work? Let's take a pick. So, a very interesting fe feature in our development environment is that you can select the syntax highlighting. So we select XML for this. So basically the main empty launch is just stating the values here that we'll use launching this empty world. So we launch an empty world and inside it we spawn our BB-8 with this BB-8 launch file which as you can see it looks for the gazebo package and the launch directory include and BB-8 which is this one here again let's highlight and in this one is more is it's simple also because we input as arguments the position where the BB-8 will spawn. We upload this file, the BB-8 gazebo chakra, which we'll talk about a bit later, but basically it loads all the variables needed for gazebo simulator. Then we have this, we start this robot state publisher, which publishes all the transformations, the kinematic transformations and the positions or orientations. To know all the positions and orientations or, of all of the elements of our robot. And finally, we create BB-8, which loads basically a URDF um, model, which is this URDF model that we created here. And this takes us to the main focus of this webinar. Let's close this. The chakra file and the URDF file. Let's highlight a bit. By the way, all the all these files will be linked in the description below, so don't worry if I'm going too fast. This is meant to explain you all the tiny details that you might not understand in the files and take you along in the process of using the construct and creating BB-8 there. So the gazebo chakra states basically the, the friction coefficients and the plugin, plugins of gazebo. That's all you need to know. The elements and the values are more or less the default values that are used in Gazebo in most of the s simple simulations. But the most important file is this one. Here we define the BBA robot as such. So it's made up of various links with joints 
And to understand a bit more how we created this, this file and this BB-8 version, I'll have to explain a bit how the kinematic chains work and the inertias that we used and a few other details. So we'll go here. So the first element that we'll add is a base link. The base link is a sphere that weighs 40 kilos and has these axes x, y and z in this orientation. That's it. The next link or element that we'll add is the rotation joint, uh, rotation link, sorry, which is connected to the base link through the rotation joint and revolves around the z axis. The next element is the base direction link, which is connected to the base rotation link through this direction joint. These two joints allow the robot to move left and right, in this case through the rotation joint, and backwards and forwards through the direction joint. Combined, it makes the BB-8 move in any direction in a 2D space. And finally, we have to add the head which is connected to the, the rotation, this link here, the base rotation link, yeah, through this head joint that revolves around the z-axis. Understood? Yeah. And this is the final BB-8 model that you'll end up with. Also comment the inertia elements, which are in case of the base link, a cube of 40 kilograms and this dimensions, which makes the BB-8 stand upright. And the other elements have very big inertia elements, but weigh only one kilogram in the case of the head three and allow or help the movement of BB-8. And that's quite it. So let's go to create our robot, shall we? So as you can see here, the base link, we have this inertia element, collision element and visual element. The inertia element is the ones that we commented before. You can see here that it's displaced 0 0.5 in Z direction and, and minus 0 0.5. It weighs 40 kilograms and has a and has this distribution in the inertia. Then we have the collision element, which is basically the element that that Gazebo plays with and makes all the physical calculations and interacts with the, with the world. This is a sphere of radius 0 0.1. And the visual, we create the same sphere of 0 0.1. And that's it, so that we can see, we see the same as the collision element. Okay, so we uncomment the next element. Now we have the base rotation link and we connect it to the base link through this rotation joint which revolves around the z-axis. Yeah, so we go here and we, by the way, we have to save, which I don't know if I did it. Yeah, I did it. So we relaunch the main empty launch, remember. We waited to launch. Perfect. As you can see, because they have the same dimensions, it seems as if it hasn't changed anything. But if we go here, models BB-8, we have two links, base link and base rotation. 
Okay, so let's return to now. We'll add the base direction. We save it. File saved. We relaunch. Main empty arch. Yeah. There we go. I highly recommend that you design, you create your robots in this fashion so that you see how the models evolve. It's much practical and you, you spot errors faster. So there you have it. The direction link. And now um, one thing that I should mention is that this ba base direction link where it has mass one one kilo the same as this one here base rotation link and has this distribution that it's more or less prismatic as you saw in the slides in the tiny images and it's connected to the base rotation link through this direction joint and revolves around the x-axis very important finally we add the head. We save it and check that it has three kilograms, the inertia, this distribution, prismatic more or less. It's a sphere of radius 0 0.2 and the visuals exactly the same. And it's connected to the base rotation link through the head joint and revolves around the Z axis. Let's go. Let's wait one more time. And here we have it. So now we can play with it. Play, you can move it around. For example, you can rotate it like so. And you'll see that because we have the inertia 0 0.5 um, units below, it moves because the inertia is more or less around here. And because we have such low friction, it won't stop or very slowly, it stops very slowly. So there you have it. You can interact with the elements. And I think it's quite, this is quite it. So here ends the first part of the BB-8. Uh, webinar in all created in the construct if you have any questions whatsoever please leave a comment below and we would be delighted that you could share your bba creations with us you can share them directly with us through the construct you can go here in the file section type the bb8 object that you want to share and here put the username that you we linked in the description below and we'll get it you can use this also to share your bb8 creations with other gazebo um, the construct users so hope to see you in the next um, webinar about plugins and robot controls and thank you till the next time